Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and this is Together Beyond Bless, our community, our channel, amen. Actually, this is God's channel, praise the Lord. He's the boss on this, the Holy Spirit runs the show. I'm just being the vessel and presenting the word, amen, reading the word to you, amen. Praise God, everything that God tells us should always be confirmed with the word of God, amen. So I'm just being obedient and doing these videos. Um, I'll be posting videos as the Lord wills, as the Lord tells me to come on and, and post. And I pray that it ministers to each and every one of you. Um, the Lord uses me in so many different areas. It's just amazing. Um, definitely with the fivefold ministry, you know, I believe in the healings, you know, prophetics, you know. Um, but nothing is in my opinion. Everything is with God. Praise the Lord. I may share a story here or there about my own testimonies, praise God. But together we are on this journey and we're learning. We're learning and we're applying the Word of God to our lives so we can be together beyond blessed. Amen. I wanted to go ahead and just read a word to you because I am biblical and I love the Word of God. Now, do I read it every single day? No, <laughs> not every single day, but I try to get at least a little scripture in there on a daily basis and definitely praying and talking to God. It is about that relationship that you have with God. That everybody's unique. Everybody has their own relationship with God, but just make sure that you, anything that you're talking to with God will always because he'll always answer with the Word of God. It will be confirmed in the Word of God. And that's how you know it's God and not the enemy. <laughs> right? Amen. So I know sometimes we think that the Bible is just, you know, full of rules and, to, you know, do's and don'ts. And it makes it very complicated. But God knows how to tailor it and customize it to what you're going through, whatever season you're going through. You know, it's a process. Whether we are starting in church now or we've been in church for 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, we never stop learning. Never stop learning. God is constantly showing me things every single day. And whether we're going through a trial, a testing, or a season of blessings, no matter what it is, you know, God is always there by our side. And His Word never goes void. Amen. The Lord told me, Lisa, it is time for you to get on that YouTube channel. Now, I do watch a lot of videos on here. Amen. I'm not in competition with anybody at all. I'm just being obedient to the Lord. And like I said, I do watch a lot of uh, ministers on here. May God bless them because they've helped me during my journey and helped me through my, you know, um, the things I've been through. Amen. I learned a lot as well, but also pastor in the church and, of course, the Word of God with the Holy Spirit leading us. Amen. Amen. So I wanted to read to you um, a scripture. Amen. And um, we are basically the foundation of our ministry is you know, Jesus Christ is the cornerstone. He's the chief cornerstone, like the Bible says, right? But our foundation lays on the Word of God and the works of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So on Matthew 7, I just want to read, because God, He speaks to us through His Word. And it's just amazing, amazing when you literally read His Word or listen to His Word. Amen. Versus just somebody telling you their opinions. Amen. So on here... I got Matthew 7, number 24, and it says, build on the rock. Amen. So it says here, and this is basically the, about the two houses, the one to build on the sand, the one on the rock, and then we just see which one withstands the storms, and this is how we should be with Jesus. So it says here, okay, so therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it fell. With a great crash, it says, right? And great was its fall. I have the New King James Version. And so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. 
Amen. And those are Jesus' words. Praise God. Authority. Amen. So pretty much as the Lord just kind of moves in my heart, amen, I will post videos. I can post encouraging ones. I can post some that maybe the Lord, you know, just has a word for somebody. Or maybe I'm just sharing, you know, a story of mine that pertains to my journey, our journey, our walk with the Lord. But Jesus loves you and he wants more for you. He wants better for you. Just as it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, right? And that's the, the journal I had for last season. Actually, for this year, praise the Lord. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. The plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. So even if we're going through our seasons or storms, no matter what, God gets the glory at the end. And guess what? We become better and better and better, like fine wine, right? Amen. I don't really drink wine, but I'm just saying that we just tend to get better and better. Amen. Because who lives in us? Jesus Christ lives in us. His Holy Spirit lives in us. Amen. We are connected. We are connected to Him on a daily basis. Amen. That's what he went on the cross for. Amen. Jesus paid that price. So if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I highly recommend for you to say the sinner's prayer, you know, to say, Lord, you know, forgive me for my sins. Lord, I ask you, Lord, to be my Lord and Savior. I believe you are the Son of God. You died on the cross for my sins. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Wash and cleanse me. I renounce any kind of any kind of um, maybe contracts or anything that I've done in the past that was not of you with the devil. I renounce it now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask you to guide and lead me and fill me and teach me, Lord. Mm, God is so good and he loves you. And I look forward to this journey that we're going to have together and see what the Lord does. Amen. So again, my name is Lisa. And I thank you for being part of Together Beyond Blessed. You can look me up on Facebook as well. Amen. Prayer requests, place it in the comments. You are welcome to message me. Um, well, you're welcome to message me on Facebook. Amen. But you can put the comments or any prayer requests down below. Um, I ask you to subscribe to this channel as well as those thumbs up. Amen. Because that means that pe more people like yourself will be seeing my channel. Amen. And uh, thank you. Have an awesome day. May God bless each and every one of you. And remember, you are special. Amen. God bless. Bye now.